Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Savannah and yesterday we got some brand new Planet Zoo news in the form of a new animal pack coming to the game with seven new incredible species. So here we are again. Frontier looks like they're going to be releasing screenshots each day or every few days until they've kind of revealed them all. Now today's screenshot reveal from this morning, well, this morning from where I'm at, I'm in San Diego in California in the United States. So this morning, I think at like six something in the morning, we got this screenshot uh, or we got a screenshot, excuse me, of the palace cat. The one that you're looking at right now is actually the screenshot that was released yesterday with the announcement trailer. So this one is not new. We also got this adorable little clip of the palace cat licking its little paw and being real mischievous with one another, kind of pawing at each other. Um, and so I cannot wait to actually see them in the game and see what they look like. What I want to do today is actually just talk about them a little bit. If you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that when we get new animals in the game, I do tend to go over like real life information about them because I think it's cool to learn about the animals that are being added to the game. And maybe it'll help you build for them. Uh, before we jump into some facts and things like that, let's actually just talk about this screenshot that you're seeing here. This is just palace cat in the snow. Like not much else to say. They look absolutely adorable. Their little toes are uh, very chonky, very round, very cute. Um, their faces, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not super familiar with them. So correct me if I'm wrong. I pictured them as like, as puffier, fluffier, maybe shaggier is the right adjective to use. I kind of pictured them with like more hair around their face, like longer kind of hair. But like I said, maybe I'm incorrect. Frontier has done a really good job with fur textures recently, but there's something about the body of this one that maybe I'm just picturing the animal incorrectly in my mind, but it just looks a little bit not bad, maybe just not fully correct, I guess. It's very cute either way. And everything that I searched for this cat kind of came up with like the grumpy cat kind of thing. Cause I mean, look at its face. It looks perpetually grumpy. It's adorable. It's cute. It's teeny tiny little round ears. Perfection, adorable. So with that, let's just jump in and talk about them a little bit. Palace cats have the same thick, long fur, flat faces and stocky builds of domestic Persian cats. Their round ears are set low on their heads so they can peer over rocks while keeping their ears hidden. Their coats range in color from tan to gray to almost orangey red, sometimes changing with the seasons to help them blend into the landscape. They can have dark stripes, especially on their tails. Many of their hairs have white tips, giving their coats almost uh, like a frosted look. And I did forget to mention, I'm reading all of this information from the Smithsonian's National Zoo and Conservation uh, website. So I'm not actually coming up with this information or I didn't write it myself. It's all from their website. So if you wanna look at more, you can definitely go visit them. Just type in Smithsonian's National Zoo uh, and you'll find it. Palace cats are about the size of a small, stocky domestic cat. They are around 20 to 24 inches long and 8 to 10 inches uh, with the tail, or of the tail, I guess, is that long. Uh, they weigh between 4 and 11 pounds. They're actually from parts of the world, including Iran, uh, Kazakhstan, Nepal, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, China, Mongolia, and Russia. They live in shrublands, grasslands, deserts, and rocky areas. So kind of all over the place, really. Uh, they typically live to be about eight to nine years old. Palace cats uh, will yelp, growl, and purr. They use scent to mark their territories, which are unusually large for such small cats. Wow, they actually defend anywhere between 3.5 to 7 square miles. That is quite a bit for such a little cat. Palace cats are, of course, carnivores and eat mainly small rodents, including gerbils, voles, hamsters, and small marmots. They will also eat small lizards and birds, given the opportunity. 
They ambush their prey rather than chasing it, often waiting in the exits of rodent burrows or even sticking their paws in to try to scoop out their prey. That goes along with like being able to kind of peek over a rock with their ears kind of being hidden. Uh, they seem like like very mischievous little animals and maybe that's just me thinking of like house cats can have that kind of personality too or just cats in general. So I want to see some absolutely adorable animations from this little guy in the game. I cannot wait. Um, touching on their conservation status real quick, they are actually marked as least concern. So not immediately threatened. However, I don't think any animal is immune to habitat loss or the impacts of humans or anything like that, but good that they're marked as least concern. Some fun facts for them. Most cats have vertical slit pupils, but the palace cats have round pupils. Oh, okay. That's very, I don't think I, uh noticed that at all. You can totally tell that in the screenshot. That's pretty cool. Uh, when they are excited or scared, they make a sound much more like the yelp of a small dog rather than the typical house cat sound. When palace cats were first discovered, some naturalists mistakenly thought that they were wild ancestors of domestic Persian cats because they look so alike. Of course, there's more information on the website, so you're welcome to look at that yourself. Um, and if I missed any fun facts or you know anything else about the palace cat, please do let me know down in the comment section below. I love to use these videos not only to talk about the new screenshots that got released, but also talk about the information of the animal and help each other learn about them, you know? It might help you uh, think of something to build for them or a style of exhibit to build and something like that. Um, but I would absolutely love to hear any fun facts down in the comment section below. And that's really all I have for the palace cat. Um, I will see you again in the next video as soon as Frontier decides to release another screenshot. Hopefully tomorrow, maybe the next day. Uh, we do have seven animals to get through, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Um, and this is only number one. So go ahead and leave a like. It really does help me out. I greatly do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you're interested in any more Planet Zoo content, as I will obviously be covering the rest of this pack and then going forward into Planet Zoo, like we all know and love if you're familiar with the channel. And until next time, I will talk at you in the next video. Bye.